Welcome achievers to MySciences.com. This is Mr. Aguirre with another online lab. Today's lab is entitled Erupting Volcanoes. The California standard is 3E and 3F. 3E is the students will understand and know that there are two types of volcanoes. Hawaiian style volcanoes which have a voluminous eruption and something like Mount Fuji which is a violent eruption. 3F is that Hawaii is over a hot spot. There are five types of volcanic eruptions. There is the Plinian, named after Pliny the Younger, which observed the uh, eruption of uh, Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. Also Pelenian, named after Mount Pele in South America. Also Hawaiian type of eruptions. Volcanian eruptions, named after Volcano, a mountain, a volcanic mountain in Italy. And Volcano comes from the Greek word with a Roman word, uh, Vulcan, who was the Roman god of fire and metal working. And also the last type of eruption, or last type of volcano, is the Sturcian, named after the island in Iceland. Now just to give you an idea of the eruptions, or the volcanic, uh, violent eruptions that have occurred, the volcanic eruptions of the Ring of Fire are categorized by something called VEI, which is Volcanic Explosivity Index. For example, in 1980, Mount St. Helens in the United States erupted with a VEI-5 explosive force. While in 79 AD, Vesuvius, which covered Pompeii and Herculaneum, erupted with an explosive explosivity index of VEI-6. In 1991 in the Philippines, Pinatubo erupted with a VEI-7. And one of the more famous volcanic eruptions in 1883 was Krakatoa, which erupted with a VEI-7 as well. There was so much ash from Krakatoa that the global temperature decreased by one degree. In 1815, Tambora in Indonesia erupted with a VEI-8. And 75,000 years ago in Tamboa, Sumatra, Sumatra, the Tamboa exploded with a VEI-9. Now you should understand that VEI-8 is a super volcano, and so VEI-9 would be a super volcano that just doesn't stop. So let's go ahead and see what we, uh, in a previous video, we showed you how to create these two volcanoes from paper mache. So the students went ahead and painted them. This is an example of Hawaii with its uh, tropical rainforest on one side and its lava flows on the other. Underneath we have a Erlenmeyer flask, 250 milliliters, with baking soda. You can add a little bit of dishwashing liquid to make it a little more fluffy, or bubbly, thank you. And vinegar. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Now that's an example <laughs> of a voluminous style volcano and this probably would have been more effective if the volcano itself, the crater, would have been a little bit lower. But I think you got to see a little bit of that. Okay, now this example is an example of the Ring of Fire volcanoes and this is Mount Fuji with Tokyo at its base. And Tokyo, just for your information, is the largest city in the world. Now, the way to do this is to use Coca-Cola, Diet Coca-Cola, with Mentos. We're going to be using different types of bottles of uh, Diet Colas. This is the Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, with zero calories. We're doing this next to the palm tree because we want to be able to collect data. We want to be able to see how high the, the explosion is based on the different colas. So again, when the students were making this, uh, this model, we went ahead and made sure that it had the same height, so that uh, the proper height, so that we could put the volcano on top of the uh, model. And what you want to do is you want to be able to drop the mentos inside, you, again, put them inside of a test tube or just wrap them around with a paper towel. You want to drop them in and get away as soon as possible. Okay, move back. That's pretty cool. Well, that's Mr. Aguirre from MySciences.com. Sign in.